Hi all my crafty friends, it's Bevla here over at Crafting Chaos with another video for you, the lovely dog. It's the second in the Critter part Card series and <coughs> is, this will be how to make the cutting file itself. So that's what we're trying to achieve and I'm going to move that off to the side. So the first thing I'm going to do is pull on an oval which is going to be for the dog's head and I'm going to resize it to 2.6 inches by 2.2 inches <coughs> so that was forming the dog's head and I'm going to shade it round so we can see what we're doing I'm going to duplicate that by hitting D on the keyboard and I'm going to resize it to 1.91 by 2.52 inches for the dog's muzzle. Drag it across and position on top of the head. Then we're going to align by doing edit and align on the vertical axes. <coughs> I'm then going to duplicate it by hitting D on my keyboard and then I'm going to resize it to 1.02 by 1.31 inches. I'm going to shade this black for the dog's nose and move it across and place it in position on the muzzle. Next we're going to work on the dog's body by selecting the egg shape as I've indicated and I'm going to resize that to 3.08 by 2.4 inches. I'm going to shade it brown and move it into position. But at the minute it's the top shape so I need to send it to the back. So I'm going to edit and line them up all on the vertical axis. So at the moment everything is lining up vertical. And that needs to go further back, so sending it right back. So that's the body completed. Next, I'm going to duplicate and resize the oval to 0.75 to 0.62 inches for the whites of the eyes. I will need two of these. I'm going to shade it wide, hit D on my keyboard to give me a second white for the eye. I am then going to create a small, just aligning them so that they're positioned correctly and sending them to the back or behind the muzzle so I'm going back a rail at a time to make sure that I get it in the position where I want and I do this just to get sure, make sure that I'm happy with the proportions. Then I'm going to hit D again and resize for the pupils to 0.45 by 0.64 inches sorry 0.38 inches I'm going to colour it black and duplicate by hitting D on my keyboard and position into the white of the eyes and lower that down to the correct area and position and do the same with the second pupil so sending it backwards and backwards again and that's the eye completed next we're going to get another oval and we're going to resize it to 1.72 by 1.33 inches. This will be for the back paws of the dog, the one that show the pink pads. And I'm going to rotate it by about 12 and a half degrees, shade it, duplicate it by hitting D on my keyboard, and then edit a flip on the vertical axes and then position it at the opposite side of the dog. 
I'm going to send it to the back and the other one to the back. So I'm happy with their position. Okay. So next I'm going to make the spots. So I'm going to go on the scalloped circle shape and I'm going to resize to 0 0.75 by 0 0.75 inches. Oops, not 75, 0 0.75 and 0 0.75 on this side. and shade it black and I'll need four of these I'm just going to shade them all black and then position them roughly where I'd like them to be on my dog when I assemble the card I will trim off the excess from behind as you will see in the construction video so first I'm just going to send that one so it's underneath the muzzle and then I get an, an idea of where I want them to be in position relative to my dog. Okay, so that's that one. Place that now before I do the front legs so I can see better what I'm doing. So the next thing I'm going to do is to select the circle and I'm going to resize that to 0.64 by 0.64 inches for the larger of the pink pads. I'm going to shade it pink, grab two of them and position them on my dog. I'm going to make a duplicate of one, resize it to 0.32 by 0.32 inches. I'm going to hit D on my keyboard five times to give me a total of six pads and position them on my dog. Okay. I'm just shifting things around now, shifting the little pink pads onto the dog's paws. Do that. I'm just going to kind of shrink things around a bit. Just um, satisfied my needs to have everything in the right places. Okay. So next, we're going to work on the leg. So I'm going to pull up the rounded the rectangle as you'll see. I'm going to pull it to the side, and I'm going to resize it to. 0.82 by 2 inches and I'm going to rotate it by 90 degrees I'm going to fluster it with a colour slightly darker colour so it comes out from the other one position, rotate it a little Then I'm going to hit D on my keyboard to duplicate and flip on the vertical axis and position. That's forming the front legs of the dog, as you see. All in the position I stick. Next we're going to work on the paws. So again, we're going to drag up the egg shape. I'm just looking for it now. That's the egg shape. <coughs> I'm going to bring it onto the mat and resize it to 0.99 by 1.30 inches. Shade it so I can see it better on the screen and move it into position. Duplicate by hitting D on the keyboard and putting it into position. So that's the dog's feet complete. Next I'm going to work on the dog's ears. So I'm pulling up the shape as indicated. 
and I'm going to edit by thrusting it first on the horizontal axis and resizing it to 1.54 by 1.29 inches. That will give me roughly the basic size that I'm going to zoom in so that you can see what's happening in this next step. I'm going to click on the selection tool and double click to expose the node. I'm going to drag one in to flatten that little bit off a little bit so that's all trim the shape. Drag that one into the side to give us a little bend of the ear. And I'm going to take it back 50% and that is my dog's ear. I'm going to shrink it down a little bit to 1.04 by 0 0.91 inches. I'm going to rotate it slightly and change the colour to a darker brown. That will form one ear. I shall hit this with the trim the angle a little bit there so I'm happy with it. Although this is all just for on the screen because you can place it where you want when you're putting the files together. And then I'm going to duplicate it, edit, flip on the vertical axis and position that to the side. Then I'm going to hit Sending it to the back so the behind the head. Hit E on my keyboard to duplicate. Shrink it down just a little. 0.9 by 0.79. Add pink to the shading. And then I'm going to bring it to the front. But on, on top of the brown. I'm going to hit D on my keyboard to duplicate it. Edit and flip on the vertical axis and move it into the position on the other side of the dog. And send it back and then just bring it up so that it's not underneath the brown ear. So that's the dog more or less completed now. So the next step will be to spread out the, the different coloured parts of the file. So that we can add some force stitching. So I'm just dragging off them in the different colours which will make it easier for me to cut them and draw them later. So I'm putting all the lighter brown ones together and the darker brown pieces together. I'll put all the black pieces together and all the white pieces together. So I've just skipped ahead where I've got them all separated out onto my mat. I'm highlighting one group, editing and grouping them together. Then I'm going to edit, create an offset line, make it the smallest I can, make it inward, leave it as is and round and say OK. Now before I deselect this, I'm going to edit and ungroup them so that they're still now separate shapes. And then I'm going to very carefully... Let me zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. Very carefully clicking into the centre of the shape, being careful not to move this, the, the offset line as I do so. Then I'm going to turn it into a drawing line and then into a dashed line. And I shall just move one of them there. So I'm just going to repeat that very gently so that they're not moving drawing line and then the four stitch line click off when complete and repeat with the rest of the shape to create your four stitching as just shown in exactly the same way grouping turning that one into a cutting line edit and create the offset make it the smallest inward leave as is round say okay then ungroup before you do the actual clicking in the centre of each shape and then turning it into a drawing line and then your dash line. So that's all the four stitching complete. I'm now ready to save the file. So I'll give it a name, I'm calling it Lovely Dog. I'm going to save it into the cloud. I'm okay to overact because I had a blank page apart from my dog. And then when it says it's complete, I'm then ready to download, hit the download button and download it to wherever 
it is that you want to be. It's just telling me that that was off the map. So I've had to drag him on and then I'm going to hit get save again and then download and this time I'm going to select where I want to save the file and save it to my computer. Okay, I hope you've liked the video. If you did, please like, share and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up and look down in the information box for links to my blog where you can download a free copy of this file in both FCM and SVG formats. Well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll look forward to seeing you in my next video, which will be the assembly video for this card. And also keep an eye out for part five in the embellishment series. Thanks for watching. Bye now.